It's Mutant Bobblehead Day for the first 10,000 fans with extra limbs here at Three Mile Island Stadium here in Steeltown, Pennsylvania. I got seven extra knuckles, Grim. Hey, extra fingers and toes don't count. Pain, suffering, humiliation, and possibly a conga line. This game's gonna have it all. The Baltimore Razors battle. The Blitzburg Steelheads. Welcome to MFL Game Day. Grim Blitzrow here. Let's listen in on the sidelines and hear what the team's captains have to say. Hello once again, everyone. Grim Blitzrow here along with Brickhead Mulligan. Huh? Hey, how'd your checkup go? Well, good news, bad news. Doc says I passed my physical. Oh, that's good. But I flunked my medal. Not too good. Well, I, it's 50-50. Better odds than I get in Vegas. Get a point. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot three. Boom! And like the Titanic, his ship just went down. Hey, hey, I almost got that mutant bingo. All I need is 77 to bite it. And that'll be second and eight to go. Hot one, hot two, hot shots like that over your career? Ah, uh, let's see. Yep. About a quarter after three, Grim, but my watch is a bit slow. And it's first and ten. and just chuck the ball some. One time, when I was playing, a guy hit me so hard. Oh, that was totally uncalled for. And that's why we love the MFL. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Love the sound of bones snapping and cracking. I mean, when it. Oh no, that was totally unnecessary. <laughs> I gotta see that one again. It was also freaking awesome. I hope they have raincoats in the front row because that was splattering everywhere. And it's first and ten. That's a six-yard gain on that catch. Second down and four. Hot one, hot two, 
Don't make any mistakes here, or they'll kick the shit out of you in the locker room. It's good. When you give up points, you need to get them back. Here comes the kickoff. Let's see if they can make them pay. you got to love a player who goes down fighting. No doubt about it, that guy is dead. He says, I'm taking you with me. The burn returner was maimed by the opposing team, so it's up to the next man to replace him. Yeah, what exactly is a burn returner, Grim? Now, players who catch kickoffs and punts and run them back through the teeth of the defense. They have the lowest survivability rate of any player in the league. The next man up just sat back down on the bench. He probably grabbed his pants. And it's first and ten. Boom at about a six-yard gain. Hey, do me a favor. Oh, holy Montezuma's revenge. That's a crap your pants and die tackle. Oh, that Montezuma was very vengeful, wasn't he, Bricks? Wonder what made him so mad. Yeah, it was probably all the diarrhea. Yeah, you're probably right. Yeah, they probably ran out of toilet paper when he was in some all-inclusive resort, and he just got so mad and cursed anyone who came to Mexico forever to crap their pants. Huh. Sounds like he didn't really think it through, because, you know, he should have made it specifically for the owners of the inclusives, but... Yeah, what the fuck are you talking about? Uh, I don't really know right now. What day is it? Third down and five. First down, so now they have to punt. Nice punt. Should move him back. He's got the ball now and is going to try it. And that was a bone crusher right there, folks. And it's first and ten. Hot one, hot two, hot, hot three. That'll give them four more downs to punish the defense. And you better believe they will. And it's first and ten. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. 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 I'm going to say maybe three yards, but a tough three yards. Second down and seven. is getting kills. Ah, uh, this is a really violent game, guys. It's fantastic. And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot just about met his maker on that hit. I thought he was made in... And the offense has only two running backs left and the defense is licking their lips. Uh, I think they want to hit those last two runners for this out, Quinn.
And it's first and ten. And he breaks the hand. Say goodnight to that guy, Bricks. Uh, goodnight to that guy, Bricks. You're an idiot. First and four. Hot. Hot one. Hot two. Hot. Hot three. And he breaks through for a touchdown. Listen to this crowd. Hey. Well, this should be easy, but with kickers, you never know. right through. Yeah, like a double stuff burrito from Taco Hell. They're looking for a good return after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck or if that was just a one-time thing. Boom! And it's first and ten. Tired of the quarterback's tight spirals and magnetic personality. The defense jump. And that unsportsmanlike play of the day brought to you by the good folks at Speedy's drive through Funeral Parlor Service. Located just off the Beltway, exit five. <laughs> the offense is running low on quarterbacks. They have only two left. They might consider running the ball more. And it's first and ten. And he just used his beast boost dirty trick, and there's no way to stop him. Unless, of course, you kill him. Wow, look at that freak go! He's unstoppable! And he's off to the races. Oh, man, his neck vertebrae just got crunched. Sounded like a gorilla sitting on a bag of potato chips. As they say at the deli, who's next? Uh, uh, can I get a Swiss on rye with uh, no mustard? And it's first and ten. Hot, hot one, hot two. Hot. Second down and a very long. And he just wrestles away from that tackle. Oh, with a punishing hit. Quarter one comes to an end. If they don't get it together, this game is going to turn into a rout. Third down and eight. Hot, hot one, hot two. Boom, and he's dead. Oh, bingo, 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 I got bingo, Grim. And the offense return. If that hit didn't cripple him, it certainly left skid marks. down to their last running back. If they lose him, they lose all their running plays. Boring, but smart. Time to punt. Whoa, whoa, you can't say that on the radio. And he booted a high arcing rainbow. He's got the ball now. Let's see what he does with it. Oh, mama. He just knocked him into the next time zone. Once he finds his head, he'll be okay. And it's first and ten. And they pick up nine with that catch. Uh, not enough for first, but still a nice game. And that'll bring up second and one. And that's a first down. Looks like they're just going to... And that's a hell of a cheap shot. <laughs> Gotta love it. Good 
Pitts lost another running back and only two remain on their roster. When a team loses all their running backs, they lose their ability to run the ball. Yeah, like if I rip out your tongue, you won't be able to speak. Tell us something we don't know, genius. And it's first and ten. walking away from it. Them cool guys always walk away from explosions. Hey, that might be good for the movies, but it's awful for the MFL. through the upright for God's sake. Straight through the uprights. When you get knocked down, you got to get right back up and fight. Uh, what about when you get knocked up? What do you do then? Run. takes a break from knitting on the sidelines to come in and punt. His knitting is superb, Grim. That cross-stitching, unbelievable. Nice catch, pal, with the brain scrambler. <laughs> and it's first and ten. Hot, hot one. <laughs> Not much there, maybe a yard. Second down and nine. Hot, hot one, hot two, hot, hot. And the defense calls a thunderclap dirty trick. Man, that's got to hurt. Don't make the hair on your corpse stand straight up. Holy mother of mutant mayhem, he scored! Oh, <laughs> Don't try to get fancy here. Just put the ball down and kick it. In that order, Grim? It goes right through. Yeah, like a double stuffed burrito from Taco Hell. 
The home team is feeling confident as they get the kickoff into the air. Scoring makes anyone confident. It certainly does, Bricks. It certainly does. High five! And it's first and ten. of all time. Huh? Did you just say greatest tits? Well. The offense has no running backs left, so this becomes a passing only offense. Uh, they can still run it with their QB, right, Lynn? Sure, they can run their QB into the defense that's feasting on runners. <laughs> Sounds like a good plan, moron. Hey, watch it. Second down and long. Functioning brain cells before that hit. They're gone now. He's going to have the IQ of a rutabaga after that hit. Third down and six. That ball was almost intercepted. Well, here comes the punting unit. You know, punters really do know how to party, Bricks. Yeah? Oh, yeah, I have pictures that, uh, well, maybe actually shouldn't discuss this on here. And he put a little too much on that ball. This will be a touchback. And it's first and ten. First and ten. And he's off to the races. Look at that little mutant run. Ah, I don't think you can say that, Graham. Oh, boy. And it's first and ten. Six, but dropped the interception. And it plays a defense, schmuck. Second down and ten. And he's... Oh, man, he just laid the wood on that guy. Yeah, if you're going to hit a guy that hard, you should at least... They used their second timeout, but they are running out of time. A uh, bit pessimistic, don't you think so, Grim? It's more about building tension, Bricks. That's all we do at this point. And drink this bourbon. Come on, give me that. Ah. Oh, great play. He is on that receiver like glue. You know, when I was little, my dad used to make me eat glue. My tongue would get stuck to the roof of my mouth, and I couldn't talk. Your father was a very smart man, Bricks. Very smart. Well, surprise me. He made it look easy, and he gets three points for it. Let's see if they can keep the momentum going and keep these fans happy and uh, or bloodthirsty, whichever. And like a monkey trying to fuck a grease football, he gets away in a hurry. And it's first and ten. Oh, and he just turns on and he fumbles at Bricks. That was a screwed up play if I ever saw one. Second down and two. First down! He was not going to drop that one. They need to make him a target more often. And they stop the clock with their first time out to try and stay in this game. Ah, oh, nice coaching move there. Hall of Fame caliber. Well, I mean, it's a pretty standard coaching move at this point of the game. 
Watch his confidence take off. He is deadly near. Timeout is called by the quarterback. They have one left. And it's first and ten. Oh, a great play by the defense. The receiver didn't stand a chance. They get ready for the kick. This isn't a gimme. Turn after giving up points. Let's see how they do. Yeah, let's see if they always suck off. That was just a one time thing. <laughs> the offense goes into their two minute drill. What the hell is that? That's the same thing as a hurry up offense, you moron. I am so Oh, he almost broke that one wide open. Hey, speaking of breaking one wide open, who's sitting on the oil rig about to blow? Hey, smells like an oven big porn at John in here. We're a freaking friend. And that's the end of the second quarter. Someone will need to pull together some bribe money as they head to their lockers. Stay with us for the halftime show, brought to you by our friends at Monsatan Industries. We make genetically altered Franken food you'll have fun trying to identify. Well, the third quarter coming up. Bricks, this game has been a hot mess so far. Yeah, kind of like the morning after eating hot chicken wings. It's a hot mess on the exit ramp, if you know what I mean. They need a good return here to set up the offense. He sets up for the return. Let's see if he can break one wide open. Oh, man, he just went off the rails of a crazy train and murdered that guy. Gotta love it. He should bite his head off for an encore grin. The kicker died on that play. That is terrible. Now what do they do? Well, another player will assume the kicking role for the remainder of the game. The coach is praying he won't need a long field goal to win this one. Second down and ten. And the defense jumps up sides trying. If he was still talking, he'd be saying, Psycho killer Keska say. The Blitzburg Steelheads are decimated and destroyed today. They lose by forfeit. They battled hard, but still got their butts handed to them. Gross. I have to want any orc butts involved. I kind of like orc butts, especially with some Michelin mustard and a smoked pickle relish. Now that's living. Let's go down to the field and see what the game's MVP thinks of today's outcome. <laughs> Grim Blitzrow and Brickhead Mulligan and Bricks Jr. and all the folks at Evil SN want to thank you for watching this presentation of the Mutant Football League. Today's final game stats are brought to you by the Micro Hard Corporation. They get it right every other...